How you guys doing? I'm Pat, and my son James is helping me film. We are uh, Telescope Observations, and uh, today on this particular Solomark Telescope, I am going to show you how to balance it because it's very important to balance this thing when you're out looking at stars. So, let me just get right to it. You basically are working with these two knobs here when you're out looking for the stars. So, the first one is this one. This knob right here. I'll show you what I mean. This one's not balanced. You see how that's moving back down when I let go of it? So when you're trying to find stuff, you don't want that. So what you're saying is you want to get your weight equilibrium. Yes, that's what, the, what this balance is for. That's what this is here for. A lot of people, they don't even know what that's for. So... Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and balance it, and he's going to be filming it, so. But this really helps when you're, so you basically loosen that same knob right there, because you're working with these two. So I'm going to bring this over like this, and I'm going to loosen my weight. All right, there's a little thing, yeah. And I'm gonna move it, just adjust this until this, wherever I go, and I let go, it doesn't move. So once I get this one set, I'm gonna tighten that, and I'm gonna tighten this, the knob I was just working with, right? So that's all set. Now I'm going to go to this way, which is over here, the other knob, which allows the telescope to move this way, right? So now you have these, these two knobs right here on this particular one. And they, these, you loose and tighten them. When I'm starting out, I, they're pretty loose. Yeah, so. So you can control, you can move this in and out, so back you, and forth. So you want this, because you have everything in here that you need mm -hmm. to start looking. So you want this balanced also. Yeah. So wherever you move this, it's going to stay if you have to let go of it. So then you tighten it up. You do yeah, it. and this one's already there. Mm -hmm. But if I wanted to adjust it, so... I would do it with these. You loosen these and bring this this way towards you or that way mm -hmm. to where it's balanced. Yeah. And then once you do that, you tighten that. And now you have a balanced telescope. Okay, so I'll just get it back in the the quick 90 here I'll show you what I'm talking about so now I've got it balanced and I'm out here looking sorry I'm looking at the I'll loosen these when you're looking for stars these are the only two you're using okay you don't want to move this or the other one over here I'll explain that in another video but now when I'm moving this around I'm looking for whatever I can go completely all the way around or whatever and wherever I move it, it doesn't matter. It stays there. If I let go of it, that way when you're looking in your finder scope and you get set, you get it real close to what you're looking for. And then you tighten these and you start using these, okay? And you can adjust everything. Once you're to this point, you can adjust everything like to where your eyes good here. You can still move this to where it's 
where you want it once you're on your target. And uh, anyways, that really, I'm telling you, going out night after night and looking for the planets and the stars, I didn't do this to begin with. And it made it so hard on me. So anyways, that's the first little tip I'm gonna give you. And we're gonna keep doing this, so um, let us know what you think. And if I didn't do it already, thank you for subscribing. I'll be getting more live shots. I'm talking about all that, so thank you. Yeah, any questions, but we're, we're, we're digging it, it's fun. Thank you for subscribing. And uh, keep uh, dialing in the telescopes.